July 3, 1998, the day that all international disputes were resolved. This day marked the beginning of true peace for the entire world, for people of all races. The four powers quickly formed anti-terrorist organizations and set out creating peacekeeping agencies to bring order and security on a global scale. The world unified to do everything in its power to eradicate all the weeds of evil and disorder. The International Society, under the motto of protecting the world from international terrorism, ideology terrorism, and cyber terrorism, stopped all air transportation and closed every network station in a short span of two years to reduce the likelihood of terrorism. The world had changed. In the year 2002, a network of intercontinental expressways bridging the Atlantic Ocean opened, connecting the two major sides of the world. In the following year of 2003, the construction of a mass-scale distribution system began, and a man-made landmass as large as a city was built over an ocean. The use and research of nuclear energy was banned, and all radioactive waste and materials were disposed of at an energy disposal facility in the Gibsoft Islands, a remote set of islands off the coast of the Indian Ocean. Now, international eyes were on the elimination of the intercontinental missiles that posed the biggest threat to world peace. In order to eliminate these weapons of mass destruction, they were launched outside the Earth's atmosphere and intercepted by other missiles, exploding them on contact. People around the world watched these explosions light up the sky as if they were some kind of dazzling light show. These explosions, later known as the missile shows, became the symbol of world peace. The world was filled with hope. But a new threat was on the rise. At the signing ceremony of the UN's World Security Treaty in the year 2003, a new breed of terrorists who called themselves Smiling Faces attacked the ceremony. The devastating attack caught the international society by surprise and temporarily crippled key operations in the United Nations. That assault was aimed at nothing other than using terrorism to create terror. Fear spread throughout the nations like wildfire. There was nothing the police or the military could do to counter the smiling faces. The only ones who had any chance of stopping these smiling faces were the omniscient and almost godlike professional assassins. The key players behind the scenes of the four powers utilized their connections and called upon the group known as Killer Seven. Their only hope rested with them.
So you there yet? You mean this shit old? That's where they all hang out. Our information tells us that there's 14 of them. And they're all for hunting. Nah, I keep one alive so we can ask who their boss is. Anything else I should know? Nah, not really. You'll know when you see them, they're, uh, different. We'll do. And may the Lord smile. And the devil have mercy. Wait here. You don't want to go any further. It's dangerous. My friends are all dead. They were all murdered by people that look like this. I have been chosen. There's more than 14. Oh, those bastards are breeding. Master, we're in a tight spot. A real tight spot. Like I haven't seen you for ages. It is I. Prince Lutel Doris Seven Elazara's go feather service. Just call me Elazara. Let me show you on the way. To the right master's room. Straight ahead the enemy. Let the blood death begin. In the name of harmony. <laughs> Master, we're in a tight spot, tight and out of sight. Let me make a suggestion. You must turn back. This is the enemy's den. Shudder to think, their bodies are lined with bombs. They will bomb rush you later on. Eliminate them before they blow. In the name of Harmony. This is too easy. It's me, me. You don't remember. Your chief tells me to go to town. I'm already for that. I'm Travis. I'm the girl who got killed on the job at Wednesday Road, to be honest here. You think I'm a pain in the ass, don't you? Space me if I ain't ready to go nowhere. Master, we're in a tight spot. This guy is a true fleet. But don't be alarmed. He is my trusted companion, Kitazara. Those things that Master seeks. The bullets. He loves them so. The bullets were left behind by Master, so the servants search for them tirelessly. Bullets of the soul, otherwise known as soul shells, in the name of Harmony. Did you notice? Uh, they never notice these kinds of things. Master, we're in a tight spot. This mayhem is out of control. Our members have a thirst for terror. With the hell in use, we are but and presidents arrive by three times. 
When the test tube fills up with blood, you can fire a deadly shot. The devil's bullets. You can only fire with enough blood. In the name of Harmony. Doesn't it? Master, we're in a tight spot. And out what tight spot? Life is precious and the enemies mean business. We're proud heavens will win. But look at their eyes. There's nothing heavenly about them. In the name of Armin. Help me! Oh. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> this is too easy. Please help me. It suddenly disappeared. A white light flashed before me. Everything is transparent, so I held his hand. Whose hand was it? Then before I knew it, I was lost. All alone again. Please help me. I can see a thing. Master, we're in a tight spot. A major tight spot. He's here. Yes, him. Master, you can't. You're going to go and kill him. What? Impossible. You're a fool. An incorrigible fool. Impossible. You're sure to fail. You know nothing of his strength. Oh, stupid, stupid master. That news really fooled you. In the name of the fool. Later. P. Dear you, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance and many thanks for choosing me for the job. My name is Johnny Gadnon, I'm known as Beaster. I get excited and I'm made a prize I know that may be sick, but I can have more compound. This is a report on the job. I'm sure you like what I have to say. I'm not in my cahot, so I think a few words is in order. There are seven in the Smith Syndicate. Dan Smith uses a large caliber revolver. Case Smith uses a large automatic rifle. Dan Smith uses dupe auto pistols. Mask Smith uses grenades. Kevin Smith uses knives. Tyrone Smith uses a non pipe gun. Darcy Smith uses a small pistol. They are an armed force that rides a small army. You wouldn't want to be on their back side. Your conclusion is in the interest of the United States to keep them around. There's no telling when they might come in handy. I'll be contacting you again. Johnny Gagnon.
with this milk friend. Looks like it's cloudy today. Which is really too bad, eh? Not a day to hang out the laundry. A great day to use a dryer though. But you know, I just love this one, oh. I'll never let anybody have it. You know why? Well, you should. I love to stay inside. You left this behind, didn't you? If you finish your business, but you hurry up and leave, you're very much in the way, annoyed. Assassins should have better manners. Master, we're in a tight spot. He's just a petty leaf. Does he really deserve to be part of the syndicate? I'm having strong doubts. The leaf is like an organized crime outfit all wrapped up in one. He can pick any lock. There's no stopping this leak. Apparently he just loves them padlocks. Ah, and here he comes. In the name of Harmon. This is too easy. What did you say?
Master, we're in a tight spot. Watch out for bear reflected. I've sensed this presence before. My ex-wife, Mizara, is near. She is now the servant of Barefoot. Let my wife serve you, Barefoot. Use no iPad for this hour. In the name of Harmon. Master, we're in a tight spot. Ain't even funny how tight it is. Once you open this door, there's no turning back, Master. Well, you can come back, but I mean, that's the gravity of the situation. Don't get me wrong. Like a prelude to later battles, you see, you must take it very seriously. In the name of Harmon. Please help me. That monster is quick as lightning. I tried my best to run away, but it caught up with me anyway. Hurry. Kill it before it explodes. No. I'm going to die again today. Somebody please help. Wait here. Yeah, I know. 
Don't be so mad now. Don't glare at me like that. Yeah. You be the chief, wake up. Really, I'm sorry. The other chief must be rolling on the floor with laughter. Please, be careful, sir. I'm the mother of this sacred place. Our four children served their purpose. They didn't die in vain. But our other nine children were killed by you. What do you want from us? Is it so bad that we have a purpose in life? We are only serving our gods. At Heaven's command, we will kill the unwanted. We must get rid of bad trees from their roots. I hope you are not one of them. Good night, child. It's past your bedtime. You think you killed me? Better think again. <laughs> Guess my trick didn't work on you. Tricks are for kids, Coon. I'm an old man. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing has changed for 30 years. No matter how many times you try, the result will be the same. Ah, uh, yes. Like our chess games, you always seem to win. Do you know why? You tell me. Because you're a bad player. <laughs> 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 of children will bring order to this age. You're a good friend, but unfortunately, our interest is not mutual. We both have become burdened with so much, and we don't have time for fun anymore. No, <laughs> there's always time for fun. It's Friday night. 
Let's dance. The size of the world has changed. It's changed to the size where you can control it with your hands, just like a PDA. The world will keep getting smaller. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,